I'm trying to think what other games I want to get on here. How about the, um, just how about the state championship, that whole experience? Um, because it was sort of similar to 71, 72. Because I remember going to Mithacton, Sourton to see you guys play Mithacton. And everybody was all excited that you won. And I was like, why are that? Like, we like won a really big game. And it was because you had, I guess, tipped it over to a 6-5 season as opposed to right is that am i right about that uh, we had uh, the season before the state championship season uh we had started at 0 and 5 and uh, then uh we were playing up at pius the 10th in Potsdam on a saturday afternoon we were losing the game and our quarterback who had it was Mike Adams, and he had broken his collarbone early in uh, camp, and uh, he was back that day. So he was put into the game, and we came from behind and won that game, and we ended up winning the next five. So where we had been 0-5, uh, we ended up the season at 6-5. and five. Uh, The team actually received the plaque from WPAZ. It's the only team in the uh, history of... Uh, the, the league, the Pac-10, it's ever done that. And uh, that same team pretty much was intact then the next season and went on to to win the uh, the state championship. Uh, you know, R.C. Lagarcino, of course, was one of the running backs. And uh, uh, I think he may actually still hold the record of any running back in a state playoff game for the uh, yards gained. And, Can you put rare breed into words? Um, it's a very hard thing to put into words, but uh, one of the things we used to say about uh, the young men, not just the young men, but all the people at Lansdale County, kind of young men and young women, uh, going to Lansdale Catholic is almost a countercultural experience. So that right away puts you in a rare group of people who, with their parents, have chosen that this is the way they're going to pursue their education. And then you've put the football aspect of it on top of that. Not a lot of people want to put in all the work that is necessary to become really good. And um, these guys, they were amazing, the, uh, the work that they put in. I can remember uh, in 2004, the winter of 2004, I had uh, an operation. I was in the hospital for a while. and um, I was concerned about the fact that this was in, what, uh, January, was it? Uh, and. Uh, I was concerned about the fact I wasn't there and about the weight room. Well, let me tell you what, the uh, young men at Lanzo Catholic, the Brian Catanes and the Nate Granax and the R.C. Lager Messinos and all those people were, they were putting in the time, believe me. And uh, they ran everything, made sure everybody was working out, getting ready. And, uh, I know Mag, our oldest daughter, Coaches was coaching basketball at the time at Lansdale Catholic, and they would come up on the side of the basketball court and put out a ladder and do their footwork drills on the ladder. And she was always impressed about nobody was necessarily watching them and how hard, and how focused they were, and what they were doing. And that kind of reflects the whole thing. I think they put in a lot of time and worked hard. Yeah.